I wanted to welcome all of you to our summer recital. Uh, this is such an incredible joy for me to be here and share with you um, just the hard work of these incredible young musicians. And my name is Vanessa Leal, and I'm their music teacher. And I can't wait for you guys to hear them. They've been working really hard. Uh, I wanted to encourage you to please silence your cell phones, if you could. Go ahead and take the moment to do that. And I want to introduce our incredible pianist. Her name is Arand An. And we're just so thrilled to have her with us. Every year she just blesses us in, in coming and performing with us. Um, I, and I want to take the time to acknowledge all the parents. Uh, because everything that your children do, it is a fruit of your efforts. And so um, they could, couldn't do any of this without your uh, everything that you do. So if you are a mom or dad of one of the students here today, go ahead and stand up. We want to give you a big round of applause. So go ahead, moms and dads, stand up. Thank you for all you do. You all are a blessing. They truly have incredible parents. All right. So the first piece that we'll be playing for you is fun, fun, fun. It is a Beach Boys uh, song. And this was really interesting for me because most of my students had no idea who the Beach Boys were. And I told them, it's okay, your parents will know who they are. <laughs> so they were learning about some of these different, uh, different music. And up on stage you have um, my intermediate and advanced students. Um, also, uh, I forgot to mention as well, we have Connors Ray on cello, and I'm so thankful to have Connors. He's an incredible cellist. He's in college now studying cello performance, so we're thrilled to have him with us. Um, and so that will be the first piece that we play for you, and we hope that you enjoy it. grandfather mentioned to me that he could perform with us so thank you Luke for being here all right all right our first soloist um, of this morning is Han Hannah Storrs and Hannah is 16 years old and she's going to uh, start 11th grade at FAU high school in the fall um, she started playing violin when she was in kindergarten um, and so she's been playing for a while, <laughs> which is amazing. And she also plays at the Gold, with the Gold Coast Youth Orchestra. Um, and I asked Hannah what music means to her and how it's impacted her, and this is what she had to say. She said she uses the violin to relax and distress. She loves playing for her church as a way to worship God, and the sound is very calming to me and gives me a way to express my emotions. Um, Hannah's also involved in Model United Nations. She loves to swim, draw, hang out with family and friends. 
And something about Hannah that maybe you don't know is that her name is a tribute to her grandparents. So Hannah will be performing for you um, the Gig from Partita Number no. 2 for solo violin by Bach. And this is just violin. So enjoy. It is a beautiful piece. attended North Andrew Gardens Elementary when she was in elementary school, which is when she started lessons with me, and now she's in high school. It's hard to believe. And um, our next perfor performer, Pedro Milian, come on up, Pedro. He also attends North Andrew Gardens Elementary, and I just love that school because it's one of the few schools in Broward that has a strings program, and so um, we love schools that support the arts. So Pedro is nine years old, and he um, will be starting fourth grade in the fall and he has been playing the violin for approximately two, three years, right? And um, he plays with his school orchestra, and he says that he likes, uh, what he likes, what music means to him is that he likes it when he can play um, music and everybody smiles. And he says he likes to make music um, because 
it is an art, okay. And other activities that he's involved in is soccer, baseball, kickball, and martial arts. And something about Pedro that you may not know is that he and his family, they do a lot of road trips. So Pedro will be performing for you um, Minuet Number no. 1 by Bach. And that's it. <laughs> Here we go. is 11 years old and she will be starting middle school this year. She'll be going into the sixth grade. She attends Calvary Christian Academy and Sophia started violin lessons with me when she was four years old, almost five. And um, this was such a special year because Sophia was able to participate in the Gold Coast Youth Orchestra for the first time and I was just so thrilled that she was she had that opportunity because I saw tremendous growth from her after having um, joined the orchestra. Um, and Sophia said, uh, in answering my question to what music means to her, she said, I like music because it gives me an opportunity to glorify God through it. Um, through playing the violin, I have met friends that share the same, the same of music. Playing the violin has helped me get out of my comfort zone, and even though I am shy, I'm able to stand in front of an audience. Some other activities that Sophia is a part of is volleyball and soccer. She also enjoys fishing at the beach. She loves to paint and listen to worship music, and she also serves um, at her church's children's ministry as well. Um, something you may not know about Sophia is that she loves to watch tutorials by Bob Ross that teach her how to paint and grow as an artist, and she's very good. <laughs> so Sophia will be performing for you Donkey Doodle by William Cole. Enjoy.
Caitlin Pierre, and she is 13 years old, and um, Caitlin is homeschooled, and she started playing violin when she was six years old, um, and she is quite a writer. I'm so impressed with this young woman. Um, she's a part of the Young Writers Guild, and she loves to sing and dance, and she says she loves, loves, loves writing. <laughs> she also likes math, swimming, and she said she loves to hold her foster babies, and she enjoys to cook. Um, when I asked her what music means to you, she wrote me like a whole uh, story, and it's beautiful, but I'll share a little bit of it. Um, she said that music is a whole different thing to explain. Even though we can't um, get to see it, music can transfer meaning that we can't explain with words. So um, something that you may not know about Caitlin is that she earned five college credits this year, and she wrote a 20,000-word story. All right. Very cool, right? So, um, Caitlin will be performing for you um, concertino in the style of Mozart. Enjoy. <laughs>
is Giovanni Conti, and Giovanni is 13 years old, and he will be um, starting the eighth grade in the fall, and he attends Pompano Beach Middle School. And uh, Giovanni started lessons with me when he was in elementary school, also at North Andrew Gardens. So it's been such a joy to have him um, all these years. And Giovanni, when asked what music means to him, he said, making music is a joy to me. It is a sort of escape from the world around me. I enjoy the sound of the instrument because it is very soothing. Um, other activities that he does for fun is he likes to sing and dance, and boy, can he sing. I mean, I tell you guys, if he put a recording out, I would definitely buy it and listen to it regularly because he's so talented. He also plays the piano. He didn't include that here. Um, he's just very musically gifted. Um, and something that we may not know about Giovanni is that he has eaten frog legs for Thanksgiving since he was five years old. <laughs> so there you have it. <laughs> um, Giovanni will be performing the Boy Pazzanini Fantasia. Enjoy. Thank you. 
switch gears a little bit and we're gonna have um, some pianists come on up. And the first uh, pianist is someone very near and dear to my heart. He is my son. <laughs> he, and it's his first recital. So he is my, he's third in line <laughs> of the Leal gang. <laughs> and it's my Lucas. Come on up, sweetheart. And Lucas just turned five years old. <laughs> and Lucas is starting kindergarten. I homeschool my kids. And um, he's been... Uh, learning music since the womb pretty much but uh, I started piano when he was about four with him and um, some things about Lucas that you may not know is that he is full of energy much more than I have <laughs> and um, one really cool fact about him is that he learned to ride a bike with no training wheels when he was about three years old and like in one or two days and so we were really impressed with that he also has a great teacher his daddy so that was really cool. Lucas also enjoys sports. He likes to play baseball with his dad and his brother and sister, and he also enjoys soccer. So Lucas will be performing, can you guess what movie? Let's see, <laughs> Toy Story, yes. He'll be playing uh, You've Got a Friend in Me. <laughs> oh, so okay. my daughter. Um, so Isabella is six years old and come on up sweetheart. So Isabella will be, is also homeschooled by me. She'll be starting first grade in the fall and Isabella started um, piano lessons with me when she was about three and she also um, has been playing violin. So we've been working on both instruments and I'm so proud of her because that is not easy to keep up with both and she does incredible. So she started violin officially last year. Um, some other activities that Isabella is involved in is ballet. Um, she's also part of our church's Wiggles and Worship team, which is the um, kids, kids ministry worship for uh, early childhood. And Isabella also loves art. Um, something that you may not know about her is that she has an incredible ability to play by ear. In fact, I'm always kind of fighting with her to read the music, um, but she picks it up so quickly and it's, it's really neat to see. So Isabella, as you can tell, is going to be performing I See the Light from Disney's <coughs> Tangled.
a piano duet for you. And um, these two boys are just so uh, special to me. Um, we have Samuel Leal, my oldest, and we have Lorenzo Fine, who is like a son to me. I, I, I think I've adopted both Fine children, <laughs> unofficially. <laughs> um, but they will be performing Take Me Out to the Ball Game, which is such an appropriate um, song for them because they both got to play in Little League together this year, as you can tell. <laughs> and they were just so excited to do that. Um, uh, playing duets are not easy, and they have pretty much have to know their part and their partner's part, and they both have worked really hard, and I'm extremely proud of their work. So um, they are, I think, ready to go. And the bench is good, boys. She is 16 years old. She will be starting 11th grade, I cannot believe it, Crystal, at FAU High School, um, starting in the fall. And I've had, um, Crystal has, has been with me for, I can't remember how long. When did you start? How old are you? Do you remember? I think she was, yeah, in fifth grade. And so um, she came to me, she, you know, from scratch, right from the start. And I've had her since then, and she is just such an incredible young woman. Um, and I've got to see her really, really grow within the past year. She also joined Gold Coast Youth Orchestra and made a world of a difference, really boosted her confidence, and I saw such great improvement in her as well. Um, and this year, I was telling her how proud I am of her because of this growth and how motivated she's been, even in her practice and everything. So really, really um, proud of her. And uh, Crystal says that music is a way for her to worship and praise God with her talents. She says, music has impacted me by allowing me to push myself to work harder and build my relationship with God. I enjoy how playing the violin is more than playing the right notes. It's expressing your feelings through emotions. Some other activities that Crystal's involved in is robotics, and she likes to spend time with her family. And um, something you may not know about Crystal is that she has a pet lizard. <laughs> so Crystal will be performing for you Concerto in G Major by Oscar Writing.
right, so we are at our halfway point in our program, and we have, um, we're gonna announce our practice competition winners. So let me explain to you what I normally do right before a recital to really encourage the students to practice. Um, we do a little friendly comp competition. And what, this year I wanted to really emphasize to the kids, it's not about competing, it's not about winning a prize, um, uh, it's about setting a goal and working hard towards achieving it. And so uh, I, I've gotta say, this has probably been the best year for practice competition. I was very pleased when I saw those practice logs coming in. They all just did amazing. Um, and so, let's see. Um, Mom? I'm here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. So, uh, the way that I did it is I have four, four um, awards. And so, I have an elementary, middle school, and high school winner for most minutes practiced. And I also have an award for most, overall, most days practiced. And so, um, and we've got the trophies too. Thank you so much. Okay, and so, like I said, this year was just incredible. Um, they, they all did exceptional. So our elementary winner this year, um, this person, uh, really, I, I couldn't believe that, you know, he's just so young and practicing this diligently. Um, he practiced more than um, some of the high schoolers, which is pretty incredible, <laughs> uh, and he just, really did amazing. And I want to just say all the elementary students really stepped up this year. I mean, every if I could give an award to all of you guys, I totally would because I just saw how and they were talking amongst themselves too and I thought that was really fun. Um, and so they 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 all deserve um, just such a huge round of applause. So let's give them a round of applause. Good job. <laughs> Without further ado, so Pedro Million, he won for the elementary group for most practice minutes with 916 minutes. All right, so Pedro, stay here. You can actually go up on stage, sweetheart. Here you go, and that is for you. So in addition to their trophy, they also get a gift card to the movie theater, which I thought was very fitting for our theme. <laughs> um, all right, so for our middle school group, they, they also did incredible. And this young woman, I thought, had such a neat practice strategy. So she told me that if she leaves her room in the morning, she's not as motivated to practice. So her practice strategy was as soon as she wakes up, before she even leaves her room, she would practice. And it paid off because she won, and that is Sophia Fine. 650 minutes. <laughs> Congratulations. There we go. There we go, my love. Come up on stage. All right. Um, and also, like I said, the middle school, everybody this year did so incredible. It was very close with all of them. Um, and now for our high schoolers, um, this young woman is just so steady. She's very consistent, um, always extremely well prepared for her lessons, and also last year's winner, and it's Kezia Krishma. Come on up. With 1,620 minutes, that's about 27 practice hours. And I forgot to mention, this is just four weeks. Just four weeks. So congratulations. Here you go. All right, and so in our fourth category, and this is for all the kids from elementary to high school, it was just overall most days practice. And this is something that I emphasize to my students that practice, consistent practice, is actually the most um, uh, effective, right? So in, instead of just practicing like for like, three hours and then having like a big break and then practicing for another two hours, it's not as effective as just being steady and consistent. And so um, this little guy I can vouch for because he lives with me. <laughs> um, and uh, it was Samuel that practiced the most days. He practiced every single day for the five weeks with the exception of two days. So congratulations, sweetheart. Come on up. So, <laughs> very good. If we can just take a picture really quick. So let's give them all a round of applause, everyone. Congratulations. <laughs> all right, guys, let's straight ahead. All right, great job, everyone. Very proud of all of you. Thank you. All right, continuing on. 
we have our next violinist, and her name is uh, Kaylee Delgado, and she will be performing for you um, concertino in D major, and what a sweet young woman she is. I've just had so much fun getting to know her. Um, she's been studying with me for the past almost a year, not quite a year, but she's 16 years old. She is um, going to 11th grade at Pompano Beach High School, and she also is a part of her school's orchestra in Gold Coast Youth Orchestra. Um, and for her, what music means to her is that it has opened many doors for her. She says, I've met so many wonderful people and the violin has always helped me when I'm feeling down. I've loved to play music since I was little and I could not imagine my life without the violin. Through the good and the bad, the violin has always been my safe space. Other activities and hobbies that she's involved in is she likes to draw and she um, was also part of a school of art some time ago and she loves to read. Something about her that you may not know, and this is really neat, and I'm going to miss her, um, but she'll be um, studying abroad in Japan <laughs> for a year, and she leaves August 18th, so she'll be heading out soon. She's been working on her Japanese and everything. It's really impressive. Um, and she also, uh, she wants to work at Pixar as a 3D animator when she grows up. So, all right, there we go.
we have Hannah Storrs, and she will be performing for you um, the Mozart Violin Concerto in G minor, I'm, I'm sorry, G major, <laughs> um, the first movement. And this is um, a major piece of music, um, and she's worked really hard on it, has done exceptional as always. Um, and Hannah is uh, just such a, an incredible young woman. I, I always enjoy our lessons. I enjoy having her um, come over and just kind of see what she's pursuing. And she's very ambitious. Um, she's pretty much like a college student right now, although she's in high school. And so um, given her workload and everything that she has going on to be able to balance um, all her different activities and the violin, which is very demanding, it's, it's really impressive to see. So um, without further ado, here is Hannah performing Mozart's Violin Concerto in G Major. Thank you. 
general music class and oh I'm so sorry <laughs> thank you and so um, I had the opportunity to to work with the kids and teach them you know general music skills along with singing and so I taught them a, uh, a few songs and they're going to perform for you two of the songs that they learned and um, since not all of the students from my music co-op were able to be here. I invited some of my other students to participate and join in, and they did such a wonderful job learning the music. And one thing that um, my heart is to teach these children to really worship the Lord through music. And the first song that they're going to sing is called Sing by, and both songs are by the same uh, musician, the same artist. Her name is Ellie Holcomb. And um, her music is just beautiful, and I want to encourage you to really pay close attention to the lyrics. They have such a special message. And so um, I want sh for the first song, she wrote it because her four-year-old daughter asked her, Mommy, who sang the first song? And so it prompted her to um, write the song, and she also wrote a book that goes along with it. So while the choir comes up on stage, I'm going to actually read it to you guys. There's a lot of little ones here. It's very short. I promise it won't take too long. And... Um, it's uh, like I said, it's called Who Sang the First Song. So here we go. It says, Who sang the first song? Who hummed the first tune? Was it the wind blowing past the silvery moon? Were the stars making noise as they sparkled at night? Did the sun sing a song as it colored the sky? Did the waves make a song as they crashed to the shore? Or was it the whales or the lion's first roar? Did the first flowers hum as they burst into bloom? Or was the first song when the thunder went boom? Maybe elephants running loud over the ground? Or maybe the birds made the first singing sound? All these guesses we've made are quite good, but they're wrong. It was God, our maker, who sang the first song. When God made the earth, he decided to sing, and he wrote his song into everything. God's song says, you're good, you're wonderfully made, and I'll never stop loving you all of your days. So I want you to sing with your life and your voice, for I created the earth to make a joyful noise. So now we know who sang the first song, God who made us knew all along that every heart and everything was born with the song it was made to sing.
starting the eighth grade at Sagra Springs Middle School in the fall. Um, she has been playing violin for about two years. She started in sixth grade. And let me tell you, she is such a hard worker. And um, I've been so pleased with her progress and I've had her for a short amount of time, but I've seen, I'm seeing so many great things from her and it's because she works hard at it. Um, uh, when I asked what does music mean to her, she says that making music means to me that I can express myself when I play use all my feelings and put it into my playing. Music has impacted me by showing me that music helps with math and my grades, and, and her grades rose. What I most enjoy about music is that it's fun to practice, but sometimes, um, a, help me out, no? Oh, oh, um, oh, yeah, it's fun when it's a competition between us. Oh, okay. Okay, awesome. It's fun when it's a competition and it pushes you to practice more and work harder. All right. And um, Hannah is also involved in karate, dance, um, re and she loves to read and she enjoys math. Um, something that we may not know about Hannah is that she loves to bake and cook. And when she grows up, she wants to be a chef. All right, Hannah, I want you to bring me something next lesson. <laughs> All right. So Hannah will be performing for you Concerto in G Major um, by uh, Hubert. Enjoy.
to go is my Samuel, who is eight years old. He'll be starting third grade in the fall. And um, when I asked what music means to him, he said that he wanted to glorify God and play for God. And he says that he likes to learn new songs. Um, I found this really interesting because I gave him this paper and I just let him fill it out on his own. And he said his hobby is that he likes to wash dishes. <laughs> so I was like, really? This is good news for me. <laughs> and he also likes to play baseball and chess. Um, and something that you may not know about him is that um, he participated in the sacred music competition last year and he won first place. And so I was really proud of him. He overcame his nerves and did wonderful. So he will be performing for you um, Allegro from Sonatina in C by Albert Beale. Okay, and I think you need your music. <laughs> there you go, love. Lorenzo Fine, and here we go. So Lorenzo is nine, almost 10. He'll be turning 10 in August. He'll be starting fourth grade at Calvary Christian Academy. And he started piano um, with me when he was about five years old. And music, what music means to him is, he says, I love playing the piano because I worship God through it and I have fun. 
I enjoy playing for people because it makes them happy, and playing the piano help, has helped me appreciate music and how precious the gift of music is to the world. Some other activities that he's um, a part of is he plays baseball, he likes to play soccer as well, and he also spends a lot of time fishing with his dad. Um, and his, him and his dad, along with Sophia, they have their own YouTube channel, um, All Things Fishing. It's called Watch Your Lip, check it out. Little plug for Watch Your Lip. <laughs> they are so much fun. Um, and his, something you may not know about him is his biggest fish that he has caught is a five foot black tip shark. All right, that's the real deal. So Lorenzo will be performing for you. Sorry. Um, the Minuetto from Sonatina in G by Thomas Atwood. <laughs> to 11th grade, right Jean Ann, at Coral Glades High School. Let me see if I'm getting this right. There we go. Um, and Jean Ann will be performing for you um, the theme from Schindler's List. Beautiful movie, beautiful um, piece of work that was written specifically for the great violinist Isaac Perlman. Um, it's challenging and uh, she really has uh, embraced it and has been performing it just beautifully. So um, without further ado, here is Jean Ann performing the theme from Schindler's List. Enjoy.
of my beginners, and she is just so special to me. She is the daughter of a very good friend of mine, Bruna Brundown, who is also a music teacher. And um, Jade is eight years old, and she is going to be starting third grade at Christ Church School. Um, and Jade started violin lessons with me, um, was it last year? Summer. In the summer of last year, yeah. And so, so, um, but she's been playing piano since she was like two years old. <laughs> and she's really good at that as well. She's very talented. Um, when asked what music means to her, she says it means to have joy. And music is helping worship and make new friends. Um, some other activities that Jade is involved with is um, volleyball. And she also enjoys art. And she says she likes being a designer. Uh, she enjoys also TV and science. Um, something that you may not know about her is that she um, loves to play with her friends and her family, and also she's a volunteer at our kids' ministry at our church, also part of the Wiggles and Worship team. So Jay will be playing for you long, long ago, and I will be joining her, so enjoy. is Kezia Krishna. And Kezia is 14. She is in ninth, she'll be starting ninth grade at the Franklin Academy. Um, she started playing violin when she was in fifth grade. She is a part of the Gold Coast Youth Orchestra. And um, to her, music is, uh, it's, she said, making music makes me happy because I like to see other people enjoy it. I also en uh, enjoy it because when I'm stressed or bored, I can come to my violin mm. to take my mind off things and make beautiful music. It is also to worship God with my talents. Um, other activities that she's involved with is tennis and swimming, and she also likes to draw. And for fun, she says she likes to unleash her inner pastry chef and bake desserts. I want some of that too. <laughs> Lots of cooks and bakers, yeah. So um, something that you may not know about her is that um, she likes to make cakes and exotic desserts for fun. All right, so now next lesson, I want my cake. <laughs> All right. So Kezia, uh, she will be performing Allegro Spirit Spiritoso by Jean Baptiste Sinal. <laughs>
homeschooled, um, such a bright young woman. She is, has been playing violin for nine years, she says, um, and what music means to her. Now, I think, you know how they say doctors with their handwriting, like it's hard to kind of say, I think Jasmine might be a doctor because her handwriting kind of looks like that, like a doctor's. <laughs> um, so she says that making music feels amazing and that it has the power to bring hope. She also says that it gives her an op another way to express herself, and she loves that music can tell a story. Um, some other activities that she's involved with is journaling. Um, she also is learning to play guitar chords, and she likes to play with baby quails. Um, something you may not know about her, like her sister, she's also a writer, and she's written many poems and songs and short stories. So Jasmine will be performing for you um, Vivaldi's Violin Concerto in G minor, the first movement. Enjoy.
close out our recital t uh, t today, um, playing music from Pirates of the Caribbean. So I want to go ahead and call our string ensemble up <coughs> for our last piece. And right after they finish performing the last piece, I'm going to hand out the student gifts and take a group picture, and we'll be all set. Um, before, sorry, before um, we do that, I just wanted to quickly um, thank a few people. And um, starting with uh, my incredible husband, who is, I can't do any of this without them, so thank you so much and for all the support. Um, for my family, my mother, my mother in law, and father in law who babysit, and sister in law, and sisters, and cousins, and aunts and uncles, everybody. <laughs> it's a whole family affair uh, for all their support and help. I'm truly thankful. Um, I wanted to thank um, Calvary Chapel, North Lauderdale. This campus has just been incredible, so hospitable and accommodating. Pastor Brian, his wife Margot, Tony, our amazing sound technician. Thank you, Tony. Um, just everyone here, they've been incredible. I'm very, very thankful for my church. I love them. Um, and I also wanted to thank the, the Storrs family and the Fine family for helping with video and photography. Thank you, David. Thank you, Mr. Storrs. Um, and, um, and I... Um, my very, very good friend, Bruna, I, I couldn't do any of this without her, too. She has been instrumental in just helping me um, put this together and uh, just such a wonderful friend. So thank you. <laughs> All right. And here we go. I think our group is ready and we will begin.
can actually just stay right where you are and I will also be calling some of the other students. So let's see. Um, Christian, maybe I can use your help. If you can hand me those buckets, that would be awesome. So going along with the summer theme, <laughs> here we go. So maybe Bruno, you can help me hand some of these out as well. Okay, so um, Ember and Lucas, come on up. Ember and Lucas, here we go. Thank you. And come on, sweetheart, come on up. And here is Jean Ann's. We'll pass this one back. Thank you. Hi, Lucas. Come right on up, sweetheart. Here you go. Hi, Ember. And Ember is our youngest performer today. She is three years old and just such a sweetheart. She did wonderful. There is Samuel's bucket. Very good. Thank you. Isabella, come on up. All right. Hannah B. There you are. <laughs> we'll pass that one back. All right. Jasmine, come on up, JJ. Here we go. All right, very good. You gonna come up on stage? And this one is for Caitlin. Thank you so much, Christian. All right, here we go. Kylie, we'll pass that one back. And Crystal, there you go. Hang on to it. Sophia, there you go. And Hannah. I have three Hannahs this year. <laughs> All right, Jasmine Pierre, where are you? There you are. <laughs> there you go. Lorenzo, come on up. And Pedro, come on up, sweetheart. You guys can come up on stage as well. Let's see. Brianna, come here, Brianna. All right, and Kezia, who's right up over here. There you go, sweetheart. Let's get you up on stage. All right, Luke, our drummer, thank you so much for being here. Okay, and Jade, and our Hannah, come on up, Hannah. There we go, sweetheart, very good. We'll get you up here. All right, let's see if we can kind of come forward, girls, and we're gonna try to get a group picture. If we can kind of all kind of squeeze in as best as possible. Let me move that piano bench, and here we go. <laughs> it's like a maze up here. All right. So let's give everyone a big round of applause. Here we go. And Connors, let's get you up here too. We definitely want you in the picture. All right. Hey guys, the taller ladies on the ends, if you guys could slide in the back, is there, is there room or is there something in the way? There's some room back here, Hannah, if you want. All right. There we go. I think we're good. If you, you good? Can scoot in just a little bit. All right, guys, listen up. If you can't see the camera, you can't see you, all right? So everybody on three. Yeah. One, two, three. Don't move anywhere. Hold on a sec. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> the oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Got it. Okay, let's try it again, guys. Bruna, why don't you get in here? Oh, no. Yeah, Bruna and Aran, please come on up. You guys are very much a part of this, please. <laughs> All right, come on up, Aran. One, two, three. Did I count right? Yeah. All right, one, two, three. All right, good. All right, now we'll get Bruna and Aran to come on up. Could not have done any of this without either of them. <laughs> They've been amazing. Here we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Look here, on three, one. Okay. I'll tell you what, um, you two in the front, is there any way I could have Oh, thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> that, that, that's now, yes, okay, here we go. Your hair is lovely, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> All right. One, and two, and three. Okay, we're good. Good. Thank you, everyone. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Congratulations, performance.